Hello, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what kind of week you're going to have since the moon is moving into your sign uh, Monday afternoon. Yeah, Monday afternoon. It'll be fully in your sign by Tuesday of this week. This uh, video is for the 9th through the 16th of September. We are officially in the first quarter moon phase. Nice. Very nice. That's right. First quarter moon phase. So hopefully you all have been getting your rest. The moon, if you're watching this on Sunday, the 7th, so Sunday the 8th, the moon is in Scorpio. And then it'll be moving into Sagittarius, right? Very powerful. Very, very powerful. Let's get into a Sagittarius. Let's see what good news we got going on for you this week. Let's see. All right. I see a decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive. Something having to do with um, um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Something you're not motivated by anymore. Yeah. Seven of Wands. I see you being able to defend your decision to move on from something without even coming across as defensive. Here we have the um, Page of Swords here. Here's a death card. Yeah, something that something has ended. Yeah, something. Um, yeah, here was a King of Swords here. Yep. Um, King of Swords here. The Nine of Swords here. The Six of Swords here. Something that have to do with spirituality. Mm hmm. Something having to do with spirituality. I, I feel like something has ended. Like something uh, maybe religious or spirituality. Somebody has just decided, yeah, that's not, something is not for you. I, I feel like you're moving on from something. Yeah. You have an ancestor that's helping you to move on from something. Um... Because I feel like you, you inspire and you motivate a whole lot of people. And so that seven lets me know that something is complete. Something is complete. You're, um, you come from, it looks like somebody comes from a long line of deeply spiritual, uh, spiritual, not necessarily religious, but deeply spiritual energies, right? We know spirituality came before religion. And a lot of you all actually see this person. I don't know if you can see it. See this person right here that fell off, their crown fell off their head. I feel like um, you all um, may be inspired to help people when they're at their lowest frequency, right? Like you all are not the type of energy that will walk past a person who is like at their lowest point in their, in their lives before they even, you know, get to their lowest point in their lives. I feel like you all will be the person that like pray for people. And, and I, I feel like, um, you know, whereas, and not to say, well, obviously, everybody's everybody not going to just walk past people when they're at their lowest point in their lives. I feel like you all are, um, you all would inspire people, you know, like, hey, you know, kind of like, hey, you can do it, you can get up. You know, I think you have that kind of spirit of just like, you know, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. I feel like you all are just kind of like that happy-go-lucky sort of um, sign to, to really motivate people, give them mental clarity, that kind of thing. But some things, I feel like you all are no, gonna, no longer kind of be in purgatory. Like you don't want to sit in that space where if a person wants to stay in a dark space, I feel like that's, that's where you are just going to kind of like, okay, I don't want to sit... I don't want to stay in a dark space with somebody if they don't, it's like, a, cause that'll drag you down to a lower frequency. So I feel like now you all are going to learn how to pray for people, but not go back into, see how this person is looking back with this terry cloth headband on. I feel like somebody is saying, you're not going to go back into something that didn't produce a whole lot of growth. If that makes sense. I think this is the week you all are going to make that decision and saying, you know, you're not going to go back into something where it just doesn't produce a whole lot of growth. Like in terms of like religion, like that kind of, it just doesn't produce a whole lot of growth. I think you all are just, like I said, deeply spiritual. Something is going to help you to move on from something. Just kind of sort of cut ties with some kind of religious something, right? Yeah. You, you definitely don't want to go into like anything dark. I don't. I think somebody doesn't want to be a part of anything kind of like any dark magic or, you know, you don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, here we have high priest. Yeah, uh, somebody doesn't want to be a part of that. 
you know, something that could like, um, you know, like something that, you know, you send out bad energy to the universe. It can always come back to bite you in some way, just in some way, shape, form or fashion. And it can cause, you know, it can cause pain to people. I feel like somebody's just on a different frequency. I just, yeah. You know, when I talk about on the channel, you know, just be real careful with that. Just be real careful. It, it's so easy for people to get tricked into that kind of stuff. You know, that people talk about, oh, you know, yeah, I, I don't, I see you being on the other side of a long and arduous journey. And I see, you know, you have an ancestor that's helping you to move beyond some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So here we have the strength card. Yeah. So it's two energies in particular. I see in a very meek way. I, I feel like, um... Yeah, I feel like in a very meek way, you know, there are, there's a, there's like a, mm, some energies kind of like cook up stuff, like, um, I feel like a lot of people are into a lot of dark stuff, like a lot of dark magic. I know a lot of people will like say tarot is dark and stuff like that, but it's really, it's, it's really what you use with it. Like the intention, if you're using it to, if your intention is to help people to be able to see, um, dark stuff or like, you know, to prevent people from like, uh, stepping into like dark like to, you know, like if you, if you're teaching people about, okay, now this right here is a dark symbol for something like avoid this, or this would be a symbol for something like, you know, you, you want to pay attention to what this symbol or what that sign means, like educate yourselves, that kind of stuff. Right. Or if people are coming under the guise of prayer, you know, like if, um, you know, the homophone, pray and pray, right? So if a person is asking you, like, I, I think I think when you ask a person to pray for you, that's a privilege and an honor. Because somewhere somebody thinks it's a, it's a privilege and honor to pray for somebody, right? If somebody is basically saying they don't really know what to pray for. They're saying something is going on in my life and I need some help. Basically, that's what a person is saying. I need help, right? And I feel like something about you can get some help like you they saying about you something about your words or something could get the prayers to somewhere or somewhere like you something about your spirit can get some prayers answered right some people have had to find out the hard way that when you open up and you share um when you open up and you share too much with people that people will take that and they will they will use it against you um they will use it against you to hurt you instead of help you um Sometimes people will use things to help to hurt you instead of helping you, right? And sometimes people will find out the, the hard way. So you you're trying to and you're moving through a rite of passage, right? Um, just how not to trust, you know, people who are. And so here we have the, um, the the ten of cups here. And so source is just helping somebody to just kind of like travel light through work. Yeah, you sometimes you just have some sharks. I mean, sometimes you deal with sharks. People who are master manipulators. And so here we have the Eight of Cups here. So I feel like somebody is definitely tossing something into a burning bowl and finally just saying you're moving on from something. Like if it, if it involves anything, like you find out that it has something to do with anything dark, you're just basically saying you don't want to have any parts in anything that's anything having to do with anything dark at all. Here we have the Nine of Cups. So I feel like a lot of your wishes are being fulfilled. So I feel like this is the week that somebody's going to really thank Source in advance that you are not being pulled into anything that could potentially be dark for you because you all are mutable signs. And so when it comes to religion and spirituality and those kind of things, especially when you're saying you kind of want to be a part of something, see these people sitting around at the table and you're saying, okay, you're looking for sacred bonds and sacred spaces and those kind of things. 
and you want to be a part of something, a lot of times people will say, yeah, you know, I want to be a part of this group. I want to be a part of this team. I want to be a part of this and that and so on and so forth. You got to be real careful with certain things when you align yourself with people because some people will see you as like, oh, especially when you talk about emotions and you're pouring out emotions and some people are like, they see it as like, hmm, okay, this person is crying. This person is sad. They're by themselves. They like that's where I feel like somebody's this week, somebody's going to be thinking to themselves. I, I have a lot of wishes that I want to fulfill, but you're going to have to really start paying attention, Sagittarius, to facial expressions, the responses that people are giving you to a lot of things. Like, because I feel like your energy is very attractive. You see, you got the King of Cups and the King of Wands here. I feel like your energy is very, very attractive to a lot of people, like balanced out energy in terms of spirituality, in terms of your emotions, in terms of your creativity. People want to create with you, like they want to create some kind of bond with you, but you want to make sure you're not getting into something dark. So I think this is where your your ears and your, your ears are going to be kind of perked up this week. Yeah. So... Um, I think you're going to be like really heavy into prayer and meditation this week. Here we have the um, Princes of Swords. Yeah. Here we have the Four of Cups here. So here we have the Judgment card. So death to any kind of judgment. Like I, I feel like, let me see something here. It's a lot going, it's going, it's a lot going on. So, okay. So two things. So something is ending in terms of like you're not motivated by, let's say, okay, hold on, let me back up. So some kind of emotional attachment here with family. This is first and foremost, right? Some kind of emotional attachment with family where somebody could have gotten kind of like the cold shoulder as far as family is concerned, right? See this little person right here with the, they got their arms folded. Somebody could have gotten a cold shoulder as far as family is concerned, right? And and who could have been at the helm of something is like a like a master manipulator. That's one, right? That's one. So just put that kind of park that put that to the side. When you know somebody is being manipulated by somebody else, just pray for them. Just, I mean, just like if you can, when you feel like, okay, somebody is being manipulated by some energies. There's two, man, two energies they're being manipulated by, right? So you can pray for them. You can pray for clarity for them. You can say, thank you, source, that they're clear, that they're out of a... Um, that they're out of a survival mode, you know, situation. Because prayer, people's prayers are, your prayers will be answered, right? Your prayers will be answered. You can pray that people are out of a manipulative situation. The reason I know that is because I'm seeing nine wishes being fulfilled. So that's what you can say, source, thank you that people, that the prayers are being answered. That's one, okay? Then, um, because you, you, you see this person, their crown has fallen down off of their head, right? So they kind of maybe in a dark place. They're kind of like sailing through dark waters. You see this sailboat with this dark water, right? They're kind of sailing through some dark waters. They may be feeling judged. They could be feel like, you know, people are judging them or they feel like they're under some kind of judgment or whatever. And they could be under some kind of a dark spell. They could be in a really toxic environment, right? So that's one thing. So you can defend your decision to move on from that because you can pray for people and you're not going back into that environment. But then moving forward for you, you can also make sure you are not being prayed on like in a spiritual sense because you want to be a part. Cause you, so you could notice somebody is lamenting, but you want to make sure you being in a circle of people that you are not being preyed upon by sharks or two so that's where it's like okay you're leaving one situation behind where you're praying for other people but you also want to make sure you're praying for yourself as you're leaving one situation behind praying for other people but you also got to make sure you're praying for yourself that's what i see happening for you this week and that's what's going to make it a good week for you so you got to also say you got to leave behind any past disappointments of anything else right that you were ashamed or embarrassed of and and I and I'm saying this I said this in other people's reading down to believe it or not some people were ashamed of like the elementary school pictures for real like they could have been teased bullied whatever those things who your family is family last name whatever all of those things 
because those little bit of things could take up a lot of space in your universe when you're trying to be clear moving forward. So that's what Source is trying to help somebody to learn how to do. That's what Source is trying to help somebody to learn how to do. So here we have the Ace of Pentacles. So some kind of a new partnership is being formed for you. Some kind of a new financial opportunity is being formed in terms of legacy wealth for you. So prayer is going to be a big, prayer and meditation is going to be a big thing here. And so you don't want to get the main thing here and is not get caught up into dark like into witchcraft, like into dark magic. That's the main thing. Anything, and the way you'll know it is anything that will involve you in hurting another human being. When you have an opportunity to keep, to keep your vibrations high. Anything that is going to involve you hurting somebody else. So it's just saying keep your vibrations high and focus on vibrating on a high frequency i don't care when i when i'm listen when i say what's where's the card where's the card um i don't see it here because i was i was thinking about it but um because a new partnership is happening here mm. hmm Because I feel like, I feel like looking at your cards here, I feel like somebody could feel like a family member or somebody is under some kind of a dark spell. And feeling, feeling judge could put somebody under a dark spell. Like if a person feels like if they're in a very toxic environment, they're poisonous environment, like drinking a lot or, you know, on some kind of substance or whatever could put a person under a spell. Like a, when I say spell, another spirit, y'all know what I'm saying. Like that's a different spirit. And you could be trying to get to the bottom of something, like trying to get to the bottom of something. And so see this crystal ball right here, like trying to get to the bottom of something, trying to figure out something, right? I'll give y'all an example of what I'm talking about. So sometimes people will, um, like in, some, sometimes people will, uh, uh, even put comments on the videos. Do you do, can you, um, like they'll ask me stuff like, um, um, about spell work or whatever. I may help somebody see this is what, this is what, like, I, like I'm telling you all now, that you can identify it, but don't do anything to try to put a dark spell on somebody. You can identify if a person is putting a spell on it. It even tells you like wine and spirits. It's telling you spirits. It's a different kind of spirit. That's a spirit. Or if a person keeps saying to you stuff like, um, I know you don't like me. I know you don't like me. I know you don't like me. You know, like, I don't, even, I don't even know this person. What are they saying? I don't like them. <laughs> they saying it over and over and over again, like his words are spells, right? Spelling. They're saying it over and over and over again. He's like, I don't even know this person. What are they talking about? I don't like them. They're trying to get you to say something that you don't even know this person. How do you know? What are they saying? They don't like you. They're trying to get you to say you don't like somebody when you don't even know the person, right? Until you say, it's like, I knew it. I knew you don't like me. It's like, okay, I would... I don't even know you. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't like you. I don't know you. Right? Almost like keep chipping away and chipping away and chipping away. So if a person is under so much judgment, they feel like somebody is constantly judging them. They will assume you, if you say one little word to them, that you could really be saying to them, hey, is everything okay? I knew you're judging me. I was just asking a question. I was just sincerely asking a question. I wasn't judging you. Like you can't have an opinion about anything. You can't suggest anything without being judged. So that's what Source is trying to help somebody to understand is that when you're dealing with a person who is constantly under judgment, you're going to have to be real sensitive when you're interacting with those spirits because it's almost walking like you're walking on eggshells because they're under so much judgment by so many people being in such toxic environments and constantly being manipulated by these types of energies here, like these predatory energy, they prey on their emotions so much. Y'all are learning a lot about people who are under dark spells. 
And so the longer you sit in this, you're like almost like this right here. This person sitting on this this horse right here, like this with their flag in their hand. It's like you're sitting in their purgatory. Like you're sitting in their like misery loves company. This is what you all are learning this week. And this is what you all are saying. You're learning how to move on from that. You're learning how to say, okay, the longer I sit in their poison, the more and more you're drinking of their poison. It's like you have it's like you're walking on eggshells just being around those types of energies. So that's what's going to make for you all have a better week because you're starting to understand <clears throat> the longer you are in spaces where people are practicing darkness, the more contaminated you become. There's a difference between knowing what it is and practicing it. So it's the same. This is in any organization. If you're in an organization, that's why I don't say anything negative against church, mosque, temples, or whatever. Because if you belong to a church where people will say, okay, we're going to stand in agreement and pray for you. They're not asking, oh, well, what exactly? It's not gossipy. It's just, hey, we're going. To, you need prayer? Let's get together and we're praying for you. We don't need to know what's going on. We're not trying to get all in your business. Whatever. We'll just stand in agreement with your prayers. We don't need to know all the particulars, the in and outs. We're just praying for you and your family, whatever. You know, we got you. We got you covered. We're praying for you, right? We don't need to know all your particulars. You're not going to hear it all repeated and all of this other stuff. Versus people who need to know all the ins and outs. Next thing you know, it's like took off like wildfire. Everybody know your business. <laughs> You're like, oh my God, I shouldn't have. You know, it's nothing confidential. It doesn't feel sacred. It doesn't feel safe. It doesn't feel anything. Next thing you know, you feel embarrassed and ashamed, right? Because it's just gossip, right? That's what this is right here. And what I what somebody is learning how to do, Sagittarius, this week, as you are moving on, you are learning how to, once people open up and share things with you, one, you're learning how to keep things sacred so that people know that when they share things with you, it's not going anywhere, right? You know how to flush it out, whether you toss it into a burning bowl and let people know, hey, listen, you may not have been a choice to anybody else, but you can trust me. It's not going anywhere. I'm tossing it into a burning bowl. You won't hear me repeat it. That's it, right? But when you move forward into your next sacred space, if you feel like, and I'm talking about for real, that's why you got to just say flush everything out from just like your past when you've dealt with people who have used things against you. If you feel like you keep hearing your same stuff that you share with people, repeat it over and over. Oh, well, I know you told me this and I remember you said this and blah, blah, blah. That you're saying, okay, something doesn't feel safe. You want to pay attention from the very beginning and say, okay, yeah, this doesn't feel safe. Because I'm I'm constantly having to hear what I shared, what I thought was in confidence over and over and over again. Hopefully that makes sense. I know kind of run around and around and around. So somebody's learning that you don't want to repeat, repeat having to hear you being judged repeated over and over and over again. Especially if you've poured out. Hopefully that makes sense. It's almost putting you back in... Um, I don't know if I want to use the word re-victimized. It's almost putting you back in um, reliving, that would be the word. Like reliving something that you've already felt like you released. If that makes I, I, If y'all feel like y'all know a better word, put the word below. But y'all know, I think y'all know what I'm saying. It's, it's almost like that. It makes people feel very uncomfortable when they got to keep hearing the same thing over and over and over again. They shared with somebody. It's like putting a spell on yourself over and over and over again. So if y'all got a better word, please put it below. I'm not above, you know, correction at all. Here we have the temperance card right here. So I see you have a guardian angel that's helping you. Somebody who transitioned on the other side, right? Here we have the ace of swords here. This is about motive. This is about motive here. Like what is, what's the motive? Like what, what, what is the motive? Right here, we have the King of Pentacles here. Um, motive could be money. Motive could be material possessions. Like, what, what is the motive? What would be the motive that somebody 
is under some kind of a spell like what what would be the motive it's if it's uh because you see all this water here what is it emotions mental like you're talking about water uh mental mind control like what would be the motive what would be the is it some kind of attraction to something because water is very attractive like um queen of pentacles right could be because you're down to earth and you're relatable maybe because people think you have a lot of money something could be very attractive to people people could think you have a whole lot of money they could think that you're worth a whole lot of things what would be the reason what somebody is you know want to put you under some kind of control you know what what would be the reason why would some put other people under some kind of control right because somebody could think that there's a lot of money involved because you created a life for yourself that people think that they can put you know get some money from you here we have the eight of cups here so you got um um mm, eight and eight here so yeah it's like you and somebody are learning how to move on from yeah you and somebody are learning how to move on from um disappointments you know where your head and heart are not at war with each other when you're dealing with people who um who like to put people under spell like the assumption you know like that assumption that people have all this money i don't <sighs> I don't know. Money is a form of energy. <laughs> I don't know why people assume. There's people could people assume a lot of things about people, but whatever. People assume a lot of things about people. But yeah, so I did see somebody, you know. That creativity is interesting. That creativity is very, very interesting. So, yeah, somebody is a succubus spirit. So, um, but ask source for clarity. But you have the gift of deja vu. That's remembering the future. You kind of sort of, deja vu is like, you know, you know how the story ends. You know, when, when people just continue on and they're stubborn when it comes to just continue to press on with people. Like, uh, you could tell a person, hey, you may want to watch out for this. You may want to watch out for that. And so source could be telling you, you know, you may want to watch out for these group of people. You may want to, they talking about dark this and like, you know, this kind of dark magic. They talking about this kind. You may want to be careful with that, right? Because um, people who want to pray for you, they will encourage you, hey, okay, take the take the high road. Like if a person says, hey, take the high road, like be patient. Source, you know, source will take care of it. Like, take the high road, no matter what people, you know, what kind of dark stuff people are in, just take the high road. It'll, it'll, it'll work itself out. Some people don't want to wait. Some people, they just say, no, 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 I, I got to, you know. So somebody is still telling lies about you, but you don't care. You know, move on in silence, move on in peace. Take time to decide. Um, the healer and protector of travelers is with you. Somebody secretly has a crush on you. You have the gift of clear sentience. You pick up on others' vibrations, their emotions, their moods, and feelings. Somebody apologizes for betraying you. Um, your new home awaits, but you have the gift of clairvoyance. That's seeing things clearly, so relax. Archangel Michael, the dispenser of justice, is with you. Talking to you wherever Sagittarius is in your birth chart. And like I said, you're going to feel, I don't know if luck is the word. I would say very fortunate. I would say very fortunate. You're definitely dealing with some energies that's into dark magic. You're definitely dealing with some energies that's into dark magic. And um, I feel like you'll be able to defend your decision to move on from some things without coming across as defensive. And But I, when I look at your cards, you're definitely dealing with some energies that are just determined, like literally to the end of them. Because you're dealing with fixed energy. This is fixed energy. This is fixed energy. And I feel like you and somebody, this feels like parallel universes here. It feels like you and somebody are dealing with the same type of dark witchcraft energy, right? And sometimes two people can be dealing with the same type of energy and not know it. Because they're not talking to each other. They could be dealing with the same type of energy and not know it because they're not talking to each other.
they're separated by water, like separated by emotion, right? Water connects us with emotions, feelings, subconscious habits, moods, you know, separated by something, right? Separated by darkness, right? This dark, see this dark water in this picture? Like separated by darkness. Like some kind of dark emotion separating them right so somebody could be like creating some kind of separation between energies they don't like you like i said before they don't like you they have an issue with you but that's intentional right so here we have 24 i am generous so you have a heart of gold and you're very skilled at maintaining balanced stable relationships you are loyal to your loved ones you're able to be the nurturer protector and provider all at once yeah so when you're praying you're praying to source for energies. It would be like uh, somebody having some, uh, you know, a good friend and you got some energies that's trying to break up a friendship or trying to break up something that they feel like, oh, we're going to come in between that friendship. They're too good a friend. They're having a great time. So let's create some kind of issues or problems, you know, with these energies. So I think you all get it. Nothing is yet set in stone. So we have mutable moon. Um... People do that with people's marriages. People do that with people's friendships. They do that with family relationships. They do that all kinds of stuff, bringing in some kind of dark entity to try to break up stuff. And so as long as you're keeping your vibrations high and just praying to God for clarity, like praying for source, for just clarity and everything, keeping your vibrations high. Stone circle. In ceremony, you conjure devotion so deeply reflects that worship into yourself. Whoa. Yeah, because you're dealing with some fixed, they're fixed, you're dealing with three fixed energies here that are very judgmental. That's into dark magic. That have tempers. That's trying to project that you have a temper. That's what somebody doesn't understand. That you, they're saying you have a temper. Karma. There's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. They're trying to say that you have a temper. And that's the part that you're not. That's the part that you. And that's what I'm saying. It's like water is reflective. And they're, they're trying to say that you have a temper. And so when um yeah let me see what else we got going on here. I'll try not to extend this reading, try not to extend it. And karma is not good or bad, it just is. But when you're dealing with energies that basically is like and karma, nobody escapes karma. Nobody. But here's the thing. We are not I heard somebody say one time before that they were somebody else's karma. And I'm like, man, they just got it all wrong. Like, they don't they don't understand that that's not how it works. Karma's not good or bad. Like, when I hear people say, oh, are they going to get their karma? I'm like, that's why some people put their whole life on pause waiting for something to happen to somebody else. Because you don't really know. Only God knows people's hearts. Oh boy, we're missing. Yeah, see this right here, six of sticks. I'm like, I'm seeing victory right here in the cards. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing victory in the cards. I just, and it's not even luck. It, it's, it's not luck. You know, I see you on the other side, and I'm seeing victory right here in the cards because people don't even realize how much you all have poured into people. And that's the disappointing part is that when people are sitting around like I, like basically they just they it's like somebody took um how can I word this it's like somebody uh it's like somebody struck a match and got a like a struck a match to some gasoline and got a whole bunch of stuff started Sagittarius and nobody stopped to ask a motive like what did you know how like somebody just took a bunch of mm, good because you had a master manipulator manipulating everything like nobody even asked what was the reason 
like what like what what is the what's the reason behind any of it? It's just like Yeah, what I say. I I'm not I'm not even surprised this card popped up. I'm not even surprised that card popped up. Somebody literally, but see that's where the tower card is gonna come in. Because somebody nobody even asks why. You you pour so much into it's like you all have, I don't know who this is for. Somebody has poured so much out into people's lives, like poured into like compassion and believing in people and doing all this other stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Here we had a ten of knives here. You all are dealing with hurt people who hurt other people. See, somebody is going. Well, this is this is why the this is why the tower card is happening because somebody, one person on a throne is going to say, "Wait a minute, now hold on." And I'm telling y'all, this is not luck. I'm telling y'all, this is not luck. One person is going to say, "Wait a minute, something about this don't even seem right." If you got these people right here <clears throat> that could be praying for people. Why are they praying on one person? Why are they praying on Sagittarius? What is it about Sagittarius that why they why is like all these people that's supposed to be praying for people ganging up on Sagittarius in particular? What is it about Sagittarius? Why are they putting so much into Sagittarius? What what does Sagittarius know? So there's why I am strong. What does Sagittarius know that's making Sagittarius such a target? What is it? Here we have 88, I am wealthy. Because somebody thinks that you're wealthy in knowledge and information about something, something somebody created. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. 88. When you're on the cusp of something big happening, this is for anybody. It literally feels like you're having a breakdown. Ask anybody. Like, read some of those memes and stuff you see on, online. When people say you feel like a breakthrough feels like you're having a breakdown. You're just like, what in the world is wrong with people? Because some people, honest to God, that should be praying for people, go they should go right into praying on people. And you don't even know what in the world, why. For real, it's like they just, they are control. They under dark spells. This right here, see this, La Bruja? They under dark spell. They practice in dark magic. So be real careful. Be real careful, Sagittarius. Protect your energy. Um, you don't have to be anti any organization. It's just like know what you're getting into, though, for real. Like know what you're getting into. You don't have to be anti any organization. But, um... If it involves, you, you want to know, like, the inner workings. If it involves preying on people, hurting people, you know, where people are an abuse of power. And this is even in, like, your job. I, I said, um, what was it? one of the readings I did where I saw somebody getting ready to get a promotion. I forgot what Zodiac sign it was. When you go, even when you go for a promotion, because I'm saying this could be some one of somebody's wishes being fulfilled. We got the Nine of Cups here. When you're even going for a promotion, ask, if, do you have the authority in that position as a leader to make decisions? Because if you just have a title without any authority to make any, I mean, any decisions, like you, you can't, you know, take your employees to lunch. Y'all can't do like team building activities. Can you like, how much wiggle room do you have in that position? Or, or if you just a fall person for everything that goes wrong, like you want to know, <laughs> like what, what? So anyway, that's what I have for you. Karma is not good or bad. It just is. It's whatever energy we put out into the universe. But, but some people, they can't rest until they see something bad happen to people. So source is saying to you, um, I'm seeing victory for you, you know, in your cards. There are some energies that, um, unfortunately are on a totally different frequency and it really really is disappointing that um 
so many people have been manipulated, but you don't want to be a part of something. Something you just, it just further lets you know that it's something you don't want to be a part of at all in any way, shape, form, or fashion, right? That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.